Dzień dobry, cześć, hello. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about five things that I think are done better in the USA than in Poland. Now, I said that this is what I think, and in actuality, it's not really. I asked my girlfriend, who is Polish, and I asked her what she thought was done better in the USA than in Poland, and these were some of the things that she mentioned, and also some of these are points that I also thought of as well, so it's kind of a collaboration of myself and my girlfriend with this video. So I just have to say that this is our opinion, and just don't take this too seriously. This is just for fun, and also, who am I? I'm an American. I have a Polish girlfriend and I've been traveling to Poland for around like four years now. It's getting to the point where I'm starting to forget about how, how many years it's been. So it's getting crazy and also pretty soon I'm going to be calling Poland my home, which I'm super excited about. So anyways guys, let's just get into this list. So the first one is drive throughs and I think the first thing Polish people will think of whenever they see drive throughs like for food or banks or pharmacies or alcohol or whatever, most of the time they think that Americans are really just lazy and while yes, of course, that's true, but you know, are the entire country is set up to drive. Also, the American mentality is to just keep moving and keep going. So one of the things that I really like to use, and I've always used it, is like drive through banks or even pharmacies or of course food. You know, I know in Poland that there is McDonald's and that's, you know, really common to use for the drive through. Well, think of that, but also with just everything. I mean, I'm talking every fast food joint along with going to a pharmacy or a bank or alcohol even like you you know you can do whatever you really want and i find that the bank in the pharmacy one is pretty cool so for example if you want to go to the pharmacy or the bank you pull up to this little machine at the drive through and you just tap the button you talk to you know whoever's working on the other side you tell them what you want to do and then they send this tube over in this machine and it comes to you and then you just open it up, you put your ID in there, and then you put in, like, if you're going to the bank and you want to make a deposit, you put in your cash or a check, or let's just say you're going to the pharmacy, you just tell them what you're picking up, you put your license in there, and then they, you know, you just tap the button, it sends this little device, this little tube over to the person that's working there, and then they do whatever you ask them to do. And then you just go on your way after that. They, you know, give you back your license or ID, and then you can just leave and that's it so it's really fast and really convenient and it's definitely one of those things that i really like if i'm in a rush to go somewhere or i have to do something you know with just a, a limited amount of time and yeah it's just one of the things that i think is done a bit better in the u.s than in poland especially because i don't think there is drive through banks um let me know if there is i've never seen any and also i've only seen drive through mcdonald's and kfc that's it so very limited options with that so the next one is I took my girlfriend to a church in the US and you know she was shocked honestly she didn't know that churches were like this and it was a non-denominational Protestant type of church so you know there's like a rock band and there's lots of singing and you know things like that she really liked it she liked that there was a band she liked that there was engagement and she also liked how the pastor had a wife and kids you know this kind of showed that he's just like a normal human being and you know he goes through problems as well and she felt like it was a place where she could just relax and like enjoy this message from this church so it's just something interesting i'm not really sure if these types of churches exist in poland and if they do let me know in the comment section down below so this isn't to step on the toes of religion or church in general at all so anyways it's not bashing anyone's religion because it's still christianity at the end of the day so anyways uh let's just move on to the next list before someone tries to kill me in the comment section so the next one is access to things on sundays you know in poland everything shuts down on sundays and i guess this was something that was kind of recently put into place as a law that you know every grocery store mall you know shops things like that have to close on sunday unless they're really essential like a pharmacy or a gas station or you know i guess a drive-through at like a mcdonald's honestly i'm kind of uh conflicted with this one just because because, you know, I guess what the point of it is, is to spend time with family and things like that. But you could also spend time with family going out to eat somewhere at a restaurant or going to the movie theater or, you know, something like that. You know, go to a store or do something with your family related to that 
you know, in general. And it's something you just can't do. You know, sometimes a lot of people are working Monday through Friday and then they're off Saturday and Sunday. So the only time they can go to the grocery store in most cases is like Saturday. So it's just something that I think is done better in the US is keeping things more open. And especially pre-virus times, you know, everything was open 24 seven, really. You could go anywhere at any time of the day. It's kind of convenient, it's kind of nice. The next one is more food and cuisine options. And this one's obvious, like, you know, there's a lot more different foods in the US than in Poland, of course. You know, Poland has their traditional Polish food Foods. there's lots of kebab places and then there's a few Chinese places a few Japanese places and then that's really it I don't really see a whole lot else you know obviously in Warsaw you can get a lot of everything but when it comes to getting a ton of different options like let's just say you wanted to get Mexican or you wanted to get Peruvian or you wanted to get you know Jamaican jerk chicken or Cajun style food and cuisine or uh, you know lots of seafood you know you want to eat crab and lobster or shrimp or things like that it's easier to do that and go to like a restaurant or you know get those food options in the US than in Poland so the next one and the final one on this list is good jobs without degrees you see in Poland a lot of people have their master's degree this was quite shocking to me a lot of people got their master's degree so this is partly due because college and universities are free I have to say free as well because obviously they're not you pay for it in your taxes so a lot of people will go to college and also because of this most jobs have required people to get at least of course a bachelor's and you know most of the time also to get a master's just to get a job with them even if the degree is not related at all you know most of the time a lot of places are requiring master degrees whereas in the US I know so few that have master degrees it's just very rare and you don't really need one you know most of the time you can just get a bachelor's degree and you're fine but also it's to the point in the US where if you know someone you can get a good job or you know you can work your way up in a company without having a degree or I know a lot of people that don't even have degrees that have really really good paying jobs you know they're not in debt from school and they're making really good money and in the future they're gonna move up in their company and I think that's so awesome too like you don't have to get you know a degree if you don't want to here because there's a lot of different options but it seems like in Poland a lot of people will get degrees I guess because number one everyone else is getting them number two it's free and number three most jobs also require them I think free school also creates a ton of competition because everyone's gonna get a degree you know this makes it probably much harder to get a job if everyone has the degree or at least more people do versus in the US you have to pay so much money and then get a degree and then you know sometimes still you're not even at a better position than when you you know didn't have the degree before because you don't have any experience or skill set you know sometimes employers will see that you've just been sitting in a classroom so they're not going to even hire you because of that it's complicated and confusing right I don't know let me know what you think about this as well in the comment section down below that's it for the things that I think are done better in the US than in Poland this was also in collaboration with my girlfriend and it's just our opinions so anyways guys guys that's it for this video and i just want to thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one